Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you five easy, quick ways to place in images within InDesign. So, first of all, the most basic one, file, place, and let's find some images to place into here. And choose the image and click on open. Okay, so now we've got the image on the end of the cursor. So there's two ways we can place it in from here. One I find a little bit easier than the other. Now I can just click once. Okay, and it puts the image in full size, which is fine. And to be honest, not too bad for this particular image, but sometimes the images are really large and they take over the page and we have to try and resize them. Again, not the end of the world, but a slightly easier way. Instead of clicking once, I'm just gonna click and drag to place that image in, okay? So, the next way we can place images in, we can place in multiple images at the same time. So, file and place. And this time, so if I wanted to select, say, these five images in a row, I can click on the first one, hold down my shift key, click on the last one, it selects them in a row there. Now the other key I can use at this stage is the control key or the command key. So if I click on one, press the control or command, and I can select a number of different images that aren't necessarily in the same row. Okay, so let's click on open now. And we should now see in our cursor, we have a little four in brackets. So I can actually control which image goes in at a time as well. So if I press my right cursor, you can see I can swap over to choose which image goes in first. Okay, so I can click and drag, choose a different image, click and drag, and place them in. Okay, and you can click as many images as you want to stick them in like that. So another way of placing images in is we can create the frames first. So let's create a few standard shapes to put our frames, images into. So I've already got some blank frames on my page. It can be different positions, different places. Okay, so now I'm going to go to File and Place. Choose three images because I've got three frames to fill. Click on Open. Okay, now if I click on each one of those frames, it will pop the image inside there for us. Okay, now if I select all these together, a really good button to click at this stage as well is the button that's fill frame proportionally it kind of scales the images down within there okay so another way we can place images so it's the fourth way just one more way after this one is what's called a grid placement which to be honest is my favorite of all places because if i choose more than one image let's say five images click on open and i'm just going to do something slightly different at this stage okay so as i click and drag as if I'm gonna place one image in. If I actually use my cursors, if I press my right cursor, you can see it's gonna put two images in next to each other. If I press right again, it'll be three, so on and so forth. Now if I go left to go back, so now I've got three. And if I go up, you can see I can put different rows as well, like that. Okay, so I've got six images, and I let go, it drops them all inside there, and I can fill the frame proportionally again. Okay, now the other way, is what's called a compound path. So if I create some frames again here, like so, let's just uh, skew them a little bit there to get them slightly different. And before I place the images in, I'm just gonna do one more thing here, okay? I'm gonna go to Window, I'm gonna go Objects and Layout, and then I'm gonna go to Pathfinder, just here. So if I select all my frames together, now if you look at the frames, each one has got an individual cross in, so that means I can put one bit of content in each frame. But if I click on my very first Pathfinder here, which is Add, it merges all the frames in together. So no necessarily need to be overlapping, but this is what's called a compound path. So then I can file with it selected, file and place, stick an image in there, and it goes behind all of those different frames. So I can stick my drop shadows and other effects on there. Okay, so five completely different ways I can place images into InDesign.